Yes, the car is finally back. And not just the car, painted, straightened up, welded and everything else what they have done uh, to make this car look like it just uh, came out of the factory. And honestly, it is a bit underwhelming seeing the car like this because it looks like a normal car. But if you know how the car used to look like and how badly damaged it was, it is really an awesome job the, these guys did. And it's been like, I think, uh, two months or something, but um, to me it was more like a couple of days because of everything I have done in the meantime. And you can probably tell that the garage is now painted. I have uh, tried my best to make this thing look a little more present, a little, little, little more like a garage, a much nicer environment to film in. And also, yeah, had some other things to take care of. So that's why it has taken a bit longer than, than uh, expected. To make another video and by the way this is a episode 6.5 not 7 because I promised episode 7 is going to be on um, rebuilding the engine and I swear I promise it's coming it's coming really soon I just um, I didn't feel like starting this thing because as soon as you start doing something you either have to finish it or you will most definitely forget uh, something so yeah, before we go um, deep dive into the car and the repair, body shop repair uh, itself, I just want to uh, quickly touch on the fact that this whole experience with this body shop, this specific body shop, has been the best experience I have had in the last 10 years, easily. And not just... Um, a full disclaimer, I did pay exactly how much they asked for. Um, it wasn't sponsored by them. They didn't do it for free for me to um, talk about them on YouTube or whatever. Since the channel is currently a really small channel, there's no point in it anyways. The guys did an amazing job, which is somewhat what you would expect when you um, send your car off to a body workshop to do the to do what they are doing every day. The point is, um, ever since I've put the car on the trailer or the truck to be sent to them, two days later or one day later, uh, the second, uh, the day after I've um, loaded the car, I got a, me a message and a photo. Here is the car, it has arrived to us. I was like, okay, great, thank you for the update. And that was like the first sign that it it's going to be quite a good experience. Afterwards, for the past two months, I've gotten either messages with if there's something there that needs to be cleared, like um, the body shop didn't disassemble the car, so they didn't know how to put all the parts together. So we had to uh, communicate on that a bit, but um, every couple of days I would get messages with photos of the progress they were making. So I knew in every point of time exactly how far my car uh, has been done. And that is something really that um, I haven't asked for that, I haven't paid extra for that, I just um, that is like the perfect image of how communication uh, of that kind of service should look like, but I didn't expect it. And there, there it is, I got it. Um, and they think it's something normal and it should be done. So I was overwhelmed just by how good of an experience it was to give my precious car away to somebody I never saw and never I don't know them this is the first time I've worked with them and um, I've been just literally blown away of how good it worked out 
I'm going to show you in detail everything they worked on, everything they, they did. Maybe I'll just upload uh, a couple of pictures in the, I got from them in the process of re repairing the car. But yeah, I have zero um, things to, to report on that weren't perfect. There are, I think I saw two couple of dust uh, specks somewhere around the car, but they are going to be really easily um, taken care of by me. I'm just going to do like a slight, either a sand with two or three thousand grit sandpaper and then polish. Other than that, the car looks really, really perfect. Uh, all the lines align, lines align, and yeah, um, the car was also packaged really nicely to be shipped back to me. And yeah, I'm just going to go around and show you everything that I've, um, everything that's been worked on. And then we are going to make a, a couple of really nice B-roll shots probably. Um, talk about the future projects or future steps for this project. So yeah, um, that is what I wanted to cover. We are going to put the car back on the stands. In the meantime, I didn't do the rear differential, the rear shocks, they're supposed to be done really fast. I've been working on dashboard um, reupholstering. Video on that is coming really soon and it's going to be an amazing video since we tried to test the reupholstering, if I may say so, to see if it deploys as it should. So hint on that, stay tuned for that video, that video is going to be amazing. Um, yeah, so we are going to um, work on some components of the car at the moment. So uh, rear differential, rear suspension, front suspension, and then we are going to go on episode seven, work on the engine because that is a big step and I think I'm going to need a couple of days to make everything as good as it needs to be and also film everything because when filming it takes a bit longer. Um, so yeah, I think for the time being the car is probably just going to be sitting like this. I'm going to remove the panels so I can work on the car without damaging the panels. It would be a shame uh, it would be shame to, to damage the parts that have just been painted. And yeah, I think I'll show you around the car. I just know how much you like when I handheld stuff because I have a really nervous hands and the video always looks like a um, yeah roller coaster but I'll do my best. So this is the interior and I hope you can remember we had a crevice on this side over here in the tunnel and a couple of step uh, let me just try to zoom in yeah like so there is absolutely not a single trace of um, damage that has been done. Of course, um, they tried to do the seam sealer as best as they could and I think it's a great job. Of course, it's not going to look like a factory because factory is done by a robot. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out anyways. As you can see, a pillar also needed to be adjusted because um, the funny thing is the damaged piece, which I'm going to film after removing the fender, uh, is sandwiched between the outer and the inner layer of a pillar. So in order to replace this aluminum part that I have uh, ordered because it was damaged, you have to basically open the A pillar up. So it's kind of a dumb design, but I think, yeah, that's the best they, they, could, they could do. So yeah, also I know that this thing has been uh, damaged from, I think the hood, and I'll try to film it in a couple of angles, but you cannot see anything. There, are, there is a, a 
speckle here, a little spot with a dust. So, but like I said, this is uh, easily um, done just by this uh, fine sanding and then polishing. So I'll, I don't have to worry about that a lot. And I currently don't have a struts on the hood, so I'm going to have to pause the video, um, remove the hood and then continue filming because I cannot, I mean, I can open it, but I cannot show you anything because I have to hold the hood myself. But as you can see, it opens up perfectly. They also put some um, cardboard over here so it doesn't um, wobble all the way um, back to me. But I think the lighting is going to be much better when I remove the hood and then I'm going to come back to you to show you everything on the inside. Actually, why don't we film me removing the parts? Whoop! I really don't want to scratch a nicely new painted bumper, but yeah, easy as that. Whoa, and I'm going to place it somewhere safe. Okay, okay. Almost there. I made sure to put some bubble wrap on, on the floor. Uh, I forgot which size of the wrench we need. I think it's a 13 mil. Let's check it out. Uh, also I need to... Yes, yes it is a 13 mil. So yeah, now you can see me trying to put some uh, protection on the um, edges of the hood in order not to scratch it once I place it on the floor for the safekeeping until we are done working on the engine compartment. All right, I think uh, I think this is what we need to do. Yeah. Okay. Not okay. Ouch. 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 All right. That piece is so big. It's not particularly heavy, but it's big. That's why it's hard to maneuver. Anyways. Now we have a much, much better view of everything that's going on under the hood or without the hood, better said. So yeah, as you probably remember from watching the previous videos, this whole side has been completely destroyed in the accident. So um, we had to remove and replace the strut tower and the whole part of this chassis leg, all the way from front to the, to the firewall. Also, we have replaced a part of a firewall because it was kinked slightly. And this is the piece that caused us the most trouble. Not this one, this one, because this is an aluminum piece and it goes in between the outer and the inner side of an A-pillar. So replacing and removing that part was a nightmare. Anyways, I am really happy with how it turned out because it looks like brand new car. Of course, you can, you can um, recognize that this is a second, second hand seam sealer because it looks slightly different than on the other side which hasn't been touched, but that is due to uh, this being done by a robot and this being done by hand. The most important part is there is seam sealer so there is not going to be any water coming in and destroying um, the welds. But yeah, like I said, this now looks like a brand new car which is very, very good news because we can start, actually start rebuilding the car itself now.
This is how cool the workshop is. They also managed to pack me a small part of a lacquer or the paint. So if I need to touch up anything, I have the exact same paint that they use to paint the car. And like I said, those are all of the things that I haven't asked for, but are provided from them just because. So that is why, that is the reason I am so excited that I have worked with them. I am so grateful for their work. And yeah, I would, I would highly recommend anyone in middle of Europe or Balkans or whatever to give these guys a call. I am going to put all of the information about their uh, uh, workshop in the description below, of course. Um, so yeah, you can um, contact them if you have a car that you would like to work on. So what I've forgotten to mention is I got my seat trims also painted with the same color of the car. So this is a small benefit of rebuilding your car. You can customize the pieces that weren't supposed to be customized um, during the process. So. Uh, if you watched the previous videos where I uh, showed you how to reinforce these pieces so the seat trim don't break, um, you know that I have removed them from the seats and this is the reason why, because this now um, is going to put a little bit of the outside color of the car into the interior just so it matches a bit better because original color is um, dark silver gray which I haven't found anywhere else in the car and it really doesn't make any sense for that color to be there. This color however suits the car perfectly because it is a body color. So I'm really excited about these bars pieces. And so with that, I would like to thank you so much for watching. I hope this small update um, was really interesting for you. And yeah, uh, this means that we are um, only downhill from here, only, up, only uphill, but with a downhill effort, I think, uh, because everything that was a major issue has been resolved. I know we can fix the car, I have all the parts, this, the car, the engine, so this was the only thing that was uh, worrying me now that we have this in flesh in front of us and it is repaired. Um, I see no reason why we cannot fix this car completely, but like, yeah, I know I've said it now, so something's going to come along, but yeah. Um, once again, if you'd like to check the uh, body workshop out, I will leave every single piece of information in the description below and I highly recommend you reach out um, to, to them because I am more than happy with the results and more than happy with everything they've done for me. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing with your friends that also love this kind of videos and uh, like to work on cars. Until the next video which is probably episode seven. Um, see you later, bye.